Delaware Bridge to the Parker. Oh, here's your bridge, James R. Yeah, I'm going up. I think I'm going to stay up for you, Cap. All right, sounds good. I'm uh, 12 minutes out from you. Copy that. Good afternoon, visitors. Currently cruising comfortably into the Duluth Ship Canal, we have the James R. Barker. The James R. Barker was built in 1976 by the American Shipbuilding Company at Lorraine, Ohio. She measures 1,004 feet in length, 105 feet in width, and 50 feet in depth. She's powered by two 8,000 horsepower, 16-cylinder, Colt Peel Stick diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 16 knots, or about 18 miles per hour. She's also equipped with a 1,500 horsepower bow thruster to aid her maneuverability in port. The Barker has 36 hatches on her deck, which open into seven cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 65 by 11 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 63,300 tons. Above her deck is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 10,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The James R. Barker is currently owned and operated by the Interlake Steamship Company of Middleburg Heights, Ohio. The Barker is arriving in the Twin Ports today to take on a load of iron ore pellets at the Canadian National Dock in West Duluth. If you see any crew members on deck when they get a little closer, give them a big old wave and wish them uh, a happy hello back to the Twin Ports. The James R. Barker is known for her horns and her wonderful salutes. If you cheer loud enough out there on the piers, maybe we'll get a good one. Thank you. You're welcome. 